Good morning world and happy Monday. I'm just about to go for a run with my dog Bella. Bella say hi. Bella. <laughs> I've just had three 90 minute coaching sessions back to back and I give everything in my sessions so I'm taking a five minute time out. Okay now I've had my five minute lie down and I'm taking, uh, we're taking the dogs out for their afternoon walk. Just at the French and Garden Centre, about to pick up some treats. Yeah. So I just got home, the dogs are chewing on their treats. And before we get back into work, I wanted to drop a quick little video here to add to the vlog. Uh, based on a question that someone asked me this morning. Basically, uh, I'm going to make it very short, but the, the whole message or the request was, JP, can you tell me how do I become a coach or this, uh, specifically for this person, how do I become a performance coach and how do I become a professional speaker, meaning a paid speaker? And this is honestly one of the questions I get asked the most. Uh, people watch what I've done with my speaking career and they always met not always but a lot of people message me and say JP please can you let me know or can I take you to lunch or can I uh, have a meeting or can we meet for coffee just to um, so you can help me because I want to become a professional speaker it's very very simple why right, this is based on my opinion right so i'm not telling you that this is the right way or the wrong way but this is how i did it number one get very clear on my message okay now let me just backtrack a little bit to become a coach and a speaker in my opinion is pretty much the same thing number one it was to get very very clear on my message another word for that or other words for that is what am i banging on about all the time what's the thing i'm always talking about and go talk about that why because what you're always banging on about what you're always trying to solve in your own life or your in your own life what you're passionate about is something that comes naturally to you therefore you don't have to have scripts you can just go and talk about it same thing for coaching what do you want to coach people in what's the one thing you've always been trying to solve in your own life generally that'll be something that you try and or you're wanting to coach other people in, like the Wayne Dyers of the world who are always looking to reach a, a newer level of vibration, that's what they teach. Tony Robbins always looking to become uh, the best version of himself, perform at his best, uh, best become as wealthy as possible, that's what he teaches. So uh, generally what you're trying to solve in your own life and what takes a lot of your energy or what you give your energy and your attention and uh, what gives you energy in return, uh, these are the things that you're going to end up coaching in uh, or speaking in and with regard sorry with regards to the second thing so the first thing is uh, what are you always banging on about what are you passionate about what's your message that's the first thing how do you become a successful, a successful coach or speaker it's what is the message you want to convey what do you want to get across how do you want to influence people, right? This is all wrapped up in that. The second thing that you have to do to become a professional speaker or a successful coach is to speak or coach at every single opportunity you can. So, for example, when I first started speaking, I hustled and hustled and spoke at every single opportunity. I would even call up people when I was living in London at the time. I would call up people because I knew they were running an event in London. And I would say, hey, I'm just around the corner from you, man. I'm actually just about to come past the venue. Uh, do you want me to come down and just share like five tips on fat loss? Or um, do, you want to come, do you want me to come talk and 
share my story for five minutes, which is pretty inspirational. Everyone can relate to it. And they'd be like, yeah, yeah, cool. That would be awesome, man. Since you're around and they'd be in East London, I'd be in West London. And I would literally run across London, take a tube, taxi, whatever means it took me to get there so I could get that speaking slot because I knew there'd be 20, 40, 50, 100 people in that room who didn't know who I was. And then I would just do that again and speak here, speak there. I traveled to different countries uh, to get speaking gigs that I didn't even know uh, what, the outcomes, uh, what the outcome was going to be. I didn't even know what the outcome was going to be from those from those talks, but I did it anyway. Why? Because you've got to get your name out. So you've got to get your message and then you've got to be willing to go out and hustle. Same thing for coaching. For people that have asked me about coaching, I've always said, just be willing to go out and coach people. And if you need to, do it for free. Coach three or four people for free and say, look, I'm not coaching you for free, but what I ask in return rather than remuneration or rather than money, uh, what I wanted instead is a glowing testimonial. And then you have three to four testimonials, and then you have a basis for building your coaching business. Not only do you have some credibility, but you have very uh, constructive feedback, very valuable feedback, because you can look at the testimonials, and if they say uh, he was really thorough, or he or she was very thorough, you can see something that you can um, really notice as a strength of yours or really loved his or her energy. Okay, so now I know this is something that I'm really good at, providing an environment for good energy. Uh, one thing about JP over the four sessions we had uh, is I always felt better afterwards. Okay, I'm adding more fuel for my coaching business. So, uh, for those of you that are waiting to meet the right person, uh, to have a lunch or a coffee with someone that's a coach, fair enough, if you want to do that, go. But before you do that, please make sure that, so you're not wasting your time and you're not wasting that person's time, make sure that you have done two things. Number one, you are very clear on your core message, the thing you're always banging on about and you're talking to people about it every single day. And number two, be honest and ask yourself, have I done whatever it takes to speak at every single opportunity? And here's the greatest thing about the world we live in. You do not even need events to go out and speak. I started running webinars, online speaking events, probably six or seven years ago. I remember my first webinar I had four people. I think I've had webinars with three people in the past. You can do Facebook Lives, Facebook videos, but get out and speak every day. Yeah, you wanna become a coach? Go out and be willing to coach one person every day and do that every single day for a year. You want to become a speaker? Get your core message and then go out. Same for the coaching, get your core message and go out and coach people every day. If you wanna become a professional speaker? Go out and get your core message and then go deliver it with absolute passion every single day in every single way in every single environment that you can. That's me signing out for today. Peace.